Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the HC servers and doing stuff with Fwib. I'm here on request 1112, which just says by Renatold, a mob disguised person has griefed my entire castle ground by claiming it while I was building. Well, this is a bit more difficult than anything else, just to figure out what he's talking about, because how big is this castle ground? I've already checked over there and it's protected fine. The only difference is that like right over here where he's building more and more, yeah, it is protected by somebody else. And you know what's really funny? The person that protected it, watch this. PS Info. Mr. Monocorn, he has hidden the glowstone underground. So unless you have the ability to teleport to a location like I do, it would be really, really annoying to try and figure out how much he's actually protected because he was a jerk and hid it under the ground. But I'm able to find it pretty easily. So, so far, that's only been two, yes, only two pieces of glowstone that he protected the outer wall with. And if we look around, nothing's been griefed. It's all just regular stuff. So, I don't think I'm going to ban him. I mean, using glowstone to protect while you build is really annoying. Sure, but other than those areas, this seems fine. So, I'm going to complete the request and uh, head on my way. So, since I don't see anything else by uh, Mr. Monocorn in the area... You do 1112, the glowstone has been removed. Since the protection stones plugin allows you to keep things away from griefers, you know, the different things running through my mind is, you know, since he didn't protect the castle ground first, is it technically Mr. Monocorn's area now? And since Mr. Monocorn really, from what I can tell, doesn't actually have anything here, I have to say that, uh, Renatold, who actually does have a castle right out of over there, is uh, telling the truth. I mean, it's my best guess, because they're not online right now. But uh, that's how it works sometimes when you have a mod request system, so that um, even when you're offline, the uh, the staff people can help you out. It's a very interesting-looking castle at that. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go see what else there is to do. Because sometimes you help people you don't even know. Actually, that's what you do for the most part. All right, let's carry on. Oh, thanks. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, PS Info says Microfill is a new user. Right? G of Microfill. Yeah, he's a guest, and this is his first house. This is not staged. I I totally just arrived here. And you know what? For a first house, this also would actually make it onto my little uh, house spotlights, because uh, it's an island in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's made out of cobblestone walls, which you don't see very often. It's, uh, it's even got an underground portion. Let's go have a look. It's, uh, it's creative. It's awesome. The best oh, it part. It's just making people happy like that. That's so awesome. Coco definitely started. Built an amazing house. Well, that's maybe, eh, amazing for a starter house. Because, obviously, he tore this jungle apart himself. Finding a house is the... A place to build a house is difficult in itself, based on how many people have protected, right? Look at this place. Already pretty much torn to pieces. He found one tiny area in the jungle. Great! I mean, think about it, right? I think that little house there is a lot better than a lot of the floating diamond block houses I've seen. And I've seen a lot of those. And I've seen them get griefed. And he's protected his, so his is already better. Because it's uh, it's it'll be there forever, pretty much. It's 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 fantastic. Ah, huh. see, it's things like this that make me think. People are out of protection stones. How could you be out of protection stones? One glowstone does a massive area. Well, when you do like this, think of all the overlapping fields. Horribly inefficient. And uh, yeah, they probably need to fix that sometime. Uh, what else is here? Oh, 346, another house request. Oh, I love these. Seeing people happy when they're online helps, but, um, when they're not online, that's what the mod requests are good for. I mean, we'll get to it eventually. So, what do we got here? Create his house out of glass. Looking all right. The floor is still dirt. That's a problem, sort of. He's got a mine going on. Yeah, Okay. And before we start talking about inappropriate usernames, you gotta remember, in Minecraft, you can't change your username, very sadly. Promote. Oh, what? Yeah. 
does it affect how people look at you? Sure it does. But unfortunately we can't change it, so there's no reason to make somebody like feel bad about it. Uh, I've seen worse though. I've seen like some people named say Jesus eats kids. Nice guy. Applied for moderator. I think somebody did mention it would look weird if we had a moderator named Jesus Eats Kids. So I can't say that it doesn't, you know, somehow affect how people see you. But yeah, I wouldn't really worry if your username is is inappropriate because we can't change it. Done. 347. Should be fine as long as you have protected it. Yep. As long as you have and you don't let anyone else change it, people can't affect it. So you're good. If we get reports, uh, we'll, we'll probably have to take action, etc. But like, just like how if I find a griefed house somewhere, maybe they left the server, maybe they don't care, right? If people are scamming people until you report it, I mean, is he going to get away with it? A little bit, but we do need to have proof and stuff. I'm not going to go around banning random people. That would just be wrong. Aha! Gmuch, you have a special house. You know what? This is really cool, though, because citizen requests are like, this is the first time they get to see staff members. And there he is, Gmuch. Hey, now that I look at this area, this is like another big empty island all, uh, all on their own. Promote Gmuch. Perfect. Little tiny house. What's his items? Tons of thingies. That's good. Good job. Promoted. I think that's awesome. Look at this island these two guys have built together. This actually looks like a nice place to live. Kind of survival island-esque. They've got a, a bridge going on. Working on the rooftops. Fire pit to hang out on. Can you actually... Uh... Yeah, you can sit on stairs on the main server now. That's good. Used to be only the hub and creative that you could do that on, so I'm glad they've kind of moved the plugins. Oh, speaking of plugin moving, server uh, PvP. Let's go over there for just a second. When you're the staff member, sometimes you can accidentally distance yourself from the players by not hanging out with them enough. And I'm not going in full diamond enchanted gear, even though I probably could have. And of course, you're not allowed to like give yourself anything overpowered, mind you. Just a regular sword, pretty much. And ah, uh... oh, dang it. Yeah, my, my jump abilities have not gone up since several videos ago. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, let's actually go and uh, see what PvP is up to today. We've got like 20 people just waiting at the gate. Looks a bit silly. And whoever Chase is trying to follow me, not impressed at that. Obviously, I'm not going to give people free gear, but I have to... Pretty much turn around at the start because Chase is going to go right after me. Come on. Leave me alone. Oh, yeah. Oh, he went too far, though. I like climbing up trees because then they can't really get it to me very easily. Okay, go on. Yeah, now there's just no question. They want to kill me. They want to kill me bad. Yes, yes, knock them down. Knock down the crazy people. Oh, PvP is fun. Come on, back up. Back up, you crazy diamond dude. Oh, oh my gosh, he's got a crazy bow. All right, better eat an apple. All right. There's no reason that, I mean, I can't just go on the PvP server to just have fun and kill people and stuff. Let's run out of here. Oh my goodness. Nope, I only allow myself really this as the max as of like items, etc. I mean, I'll do Kit Diamond every so often, and I mean, you know, I kind of do what's the word I'm looking for. Show up as a different name in the death list because my name is Red, so whenever I kill somebody, they'll know I'm there, or whenever they kill me, it's like, oh yeah, they killed Flip. And because he's a staff member, people will fall around and kill him. You know, it, it's a much harder game for me. Yep. See? Boom. Whoever chases, whatever, right? And the cool thing is, you know, I actually have other abilities, too, to, like, you know, if I'm curious, what uh, what kind of a sword is Chase using right now? 
Sharpness 5, Fire Aspect 2. Probably amazing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how would I be expected to kill him when he's got those kinds of items? Lol. Why? Uh, <laughs> nah, he just has the best item... Rot 4, Sharp 5. Yeah, I just looked. Can you really see that Chase is a hacker? I don't think so. I don't really feel like recording him when I've already found out that not even vanilla Diamond Gear has a chance to stand up for him. Uh, I mean, I could. Like, I'll just poof, vanish, go into creative mode. Fire on a little bit. Does he hack? I don't know. I don't think so. He just straight up killed me. I mean, what do you expect? I kind of doubt it. People will always say that people were hackers when they, you know, killed them. It's kind of a jerk move to stand up there and kill somebody when they can't kill you, though, but... I suppose what do you expect? <laughs> Uh, and what does he really want me to do as a staff member? To stand here and watch people? That sucks. Does that make good video? No. Does that make a good use of my time? Heck no. And I am a FWIP, and a FWIP does not get many days off, because he works really good, and they give him lots of hours, but on the, you know, minus side, that means less... Less amazing time to do things. So I'm not going to stand here. I'm going to go do something else. So the only other request on right now is 113, which is Super Con Man 96's, uh... Request about a house. But as you'll see, if I do PS locations of Super Con Man 96, he actually hasn't ever uh, protected it. Right? I mean, Kevin's got a nice house, sure, but it belongs to Kevin. It's clearly not his. So I'm going to have to do done, 113. This is Kevin's house. Please build and protect your own to get citizen rank. Good luck. There we go. So, seriously though, if I do slash citizen, it says in the requirements, to be a citizen, build a nice house. Protect your house. Then tell a staff member it's done. Is that difficult? Well, I know you might want to live with a friend, but unless those three requirements are done by you, it's not going to happen. How did this even happen? I mean, I'm not one to go around uh, roll backing random grief here. Because it would take forever and be silly, but it's very interesting that the entire square of land is gone. Hmm. Oh well. Anyways, that's why um, poor Mr. Super Con Man. It's, kinda, it's just ironic because his name is Con Man, and he's trying to get the credit for building the house himself when clearly it was someone else's. But no, this is just a popular misconception. We're very literal. When it comes to getting citizen, the idea behind it is, if you protect your house, you won't worry from griefers. And if you're not worried about griefers, then boom, that's like 50% of the server requests that the mods have to do completed. So, you know, you help yourself by helping yourself. You help us because you don't have to ask for help all the time. Ta-da! It works out. That's why it's important. Now, people that donate to the server can bypass citizen rank altogether, but I think that's worse on them because then, you know, then they've got houses that anyone can destroy, they've got to deal with griefers, but if you could protect it, you wouldn't need to worry about it at all. Ah, <sighs> oh, it's silly, isn't it? But it's true, on every multiplayer server out there, you have to consider that other players may just want to destroy everything you build. How do you deal with that? Well, you can either have small servers and only invite your close friends, or on big ones like this, there's some sort of uh, way to protect your house from people, whether that means claiming land by using wooden tools or something like the Precious Stones plugin, whatever. Point is, that's, that's like the big step behind being a member. And although some people might want to say, uh, you know... I want to get member rank easily. When you think about it, it's not that difficult. Requirements. Build a nice house like this. Sure. Protect it. Sure. 
Is that that difficult? I think those kind of things are like instrumental in showing that not only do you want to be a part of the server or it's worth us promoting you to a rank because, you know, you've been here long enough to build a nice house, but, uh, you know, it's that's how you have fun here, right? Build a house, make some friends, play around, and don't get worried about people blowing everything up. I think if you've got those three down, your server's working out pretty good. So that's why that's at least a little bit important. <laughs>